circumstances don't matter. Circumstances do not matter. I can. Hey y'all, it's Taj. Welcome back to the channel and I'm back today with some more free tea. If you're new to this channel, welcome. We transmute energy and ascend. We talk about things like the law of assumption, creating our dream realities and simply being the best versions of ourselves. So I want to talk to you guys about like getting into the state of knowing. So for me, getting into the state of knowing was just like, like I, Obviously, I understand getting into the state of knowing, but I'm always a person like, okay, but what does that feel like? I always needed to be broken down into like simplest forms for me to understand it and for the light bulb to like click and for me to be like, oh, that's what it is. So it clicked for me the other day. <laughs> um, and of course, I want to share that with you guys. So Neville Goddard says to get into the state of knowing, and that's how all of our manifestations we will be able to realize them into this 3d reality so how do we get into the state of knowing like how do we just know without a shadow of a doubt without any sort of doubt or negativity coming through our minds how do we just get into the state of just knowing that our manifestation is here like it's coming like we're gonna have it it's gonna be ours without a doubt how do we know that so i compared it to like getting food or getting hungry for something so for an example as I'm going throughout my work day, because I normally, I typically don't eat anything until I get off work. So um, throughout the day, I'm always thinking like, hmm, like what do I have a taste for? Like what do I want to eat? Like what do I want? Right? And that question is one of the main questions that we ask ourselves before we're manifesting anything. It's like, what do we want? What is it that we want? That's the main, like that's the basis, obviously. We have to know what it is we want in order to create it and manifest it for ourselves. So I'm asking myself like, hmm, what do I have a taste for? What do I want to eat today? So let's just say it's Chick-fil-A. And um, I'm like, okay, I think I want Chick-fil-A. So what I'll do is normally whatever I get from Chick-fil-A, I'll start thinking about that. And I'll start thinking about like how it's going to feel. I mean, not how it's going to feel, how it's going to taste. Um, and how it's just going to be so good. And even um, like my mouth will start like towards the end of the day. Like it's not even here yet, right? But this is how we this is how you know you're in the state of knowing like my mouth will already start like salivating Sa salivating is that the word salivating i don't know i think that's the word if not i'm sure somebody will con will correct me in the comments but like my mouth will already start to like water like i can taste it um like the digestive process has already begun because i've our my body has already started producing all the saliva and everything that it needs to break down this food and it's not even not even in my body yet so that's a major key too like is understanding this analogy and i'm going to be going back and forth with this analogy to like um relating it to the manifestation process of manifesting anything so but but even my mouth like starting to water and get there when i don't even have the food yet that's how you know you're in the state of knowing so being in that state of knowing it's like i don't get off work and be like oh i want to change my mind i don't want chick-fil-a i want to go here maybe sometimes i do it never happened but like when my mind is set on this is what i want to eat i have a taste for it it nothing can stand between me and chick-fil-a or whatever it is that i want in this case we're going to use chick-fil-a nothing can stand in the way like i don't care about the weather N circumstances don't matter circumstances do not matter i can leave work and it could be raining about to be a snowstorm if my mind is set on the fact that i'm getting chick-fil-a i'm getting chick-fil-a and neville goddard says that when you get into the state of knowing like nothing can come between you and your desire in other words circumstances do not matter so the current circumstances do not matter it doesn't matter once you are in that state of knowing it's gonna happen it has no choice but to happen let me know if you guys let me know down in the comments below like if you guys have made your mind like once you make your mind up on something and it's like boom that's it i'm gonna get that i'm gonna have it even when it comes to like shopping and stuff and you're like oh this is what i want and once you add it to your car and you go through the process of checking out like it's yours you already know that it's yours you're literally just waiting for it to um be delivered to your front door or whatever the case may be the same thing when you decide on what you want to eat like when you decide on that and deciding what you want to eat or even deciding what you're going to buy and shop for you're going through that manifestation process okay you you're asking yourself what is it that i want once you figure out figure out what it is that you want you take yourself through this imaginal act that neville goddard tells us about you start thinking about 
your manifestation, how it's going to taste, how it's going to feel, what it's going to smell like, what it's going to look like, how much joy it's going to bring you, how you're going to feel. You're, you're going to start feeling all the feelings that you would feel if you already had your manifestation once you're going through that process. I hope this makes sense. So yeah, like that's how you get into the state of knowing. You just, you really just have to, it's, it's as simple as just making up your mind to say, this is what I want and nothing and no one and no circumstance will come in between that. No, nothing can stop you from getting your desire at the point of you having a made up mind and being in that state of knowing. So that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope this helped. Um, I hope you guys were able to follow me with my examples. Y'all know I'm always coming on here like with some light bulb moment or some crazy weird or maybe not weird examples to share with you guys. But I really hope that this helped and I really hope that this turned on a light bulb for you um, and get, gave you an example of what it in a process of what it means to actually get into the state of knowing what that process feels like and i like to break it down to into simple things that we do every single day where we go through the manifestation process but we're just not consciously aware that we're going through that process and and so when it's time to manifest things that you want in your life like money a specific person whatever it is, then you're going to use this same process that you use to decide on what you're going to eat, to decide on what you're going to purchase on Amazon, whatever it is. It's the same. It's all the same process and the same getting into the state of knowing and the same creating that imaginal act and acting as if you already have it. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how everything comes to you. So let me know down in the comments below. Please be sure to like the video, um, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and blessings.